Thank you guys for joining me for another video. The, uh, we're back to the series of where I would be drawing uh, fit, it, some sort of thing, anything in 15 minutes. This time's topic will be a porcupine. Hopefully you guys like animals because porcupines are clearly an animal. Uh, not just uh, uh, not just Sonic uh, without, the co uh, without the blues. I'm kidding. You know, because Sonic's a, a porcupine. Uh, or something like that anyways we'll be drawing this little creature right here and uh, just keep you guys entertained I'm gonna be drawing something in the screen just in the meantime so then you know I'm alive I'm here uh, the time will be starting pretty soon I'll, I'll try to make the video as short as possible uh, usually I do tend to go over the time limit by two minutes usually that would be my coloring face but I'll do my best to get the main colors across as quickly as possible. Sadly, I cannot color pick from this area right here because this is a different program. This is actually called Pure Ref, used for purely doing references. Anyways, let's get started so I don't keep you uh, guys watch, uh, watching out there waiting for too long. Let's start. Five, four, three, two. One. Porcupine. Let's let's do like a rough shape, uh, like a rough pose, right? Uh, I don't want to do. I gotta do something like that. That. Uh, I like this pose right here, but I don't want to copy it too much. So I'll do something. Maybe the porcupine instead of looking down, he's looking up. So let's do overall shape. <laughs> now it kind of looks like he's looking this direction. I don't want that completely, but I'll keep some of it and then I'll round this area up a little and then bring that up. Uh, arms kind of be like that. Belly be going in. Uh, like this. And then this would be the back legs, top of back legs, kind of all spread out. Uh, this one too, spread out. This one also, uh, spread out. Hands, uh, yeah. Obviously they have like this little balls or whatever. Yeah. This one I don't have to do to make claws. Uh, this one, I uh, have the legs kind of do this sort of shape and then claw, 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 and claw. I don't know how many things that feet they have. Obviously, I don't want to forget the back leg back here. I'm going to do that. That and then claw. That feet looks disgusting. Feet weird. <laughs> uh, I think I need to lower that, uh, that arm a little bit. Yeah, that, that looks fine. That, uh, and obviously the tail will be kind of here. I'll do like a very rough shape of a tail. Uh, huh. This one I actually did decently good with the rough drawing. I think I'm gonna do this more often. Uh, instead of just like strictly just making a video for you guys, I'm gonna do like some practice ahead of time. Cause that's what I did with the porcupine. I actually tried doing a video ahead of, uh, for you guys, but like it just came out so weird. It looked like a monkey. That I just didn't like it. So this time I'm gonna. Try improving upon it. Maybe I have his face kind of facing full, uh, up, and then this will be his nostril. Uh, a or something. Yeah. And erase that shape right there, and that shape right there. That shape I'll round up. Uh, 
do that. Nostril there. Nostril there. In the middle, it kind of looks like it just like cuts right here. And it does this sort of thing. Really? Yeah. I like if he has mouth right there like that. I actually scaled up my brush a little so that it's a little bit more clear when I erase. I'm not trying not to press too uh, too hard. Lately, I've been pressing very hard with the brush. I notice. I'm not trying to do some anime-looking eyes. Okay, very dark eyes, but obviously some sort of light on the eyes. Uh. Area around it. This is where the other eye is going to be. I'm just going to darken up that area. Uh, porcupine's head again. Yeah. It's kind of looking nice, I guess. It actually looks better than my last drawing, so. The joke because you know, the last drawing was the one that I was attempting to do the porcupine. Just didn't want to come out right. Uh. Most of the time, it has like this overall arcing shape. So I, I, I'm gonna do something like that. Uh, maybe like that. <laughs> that looks so weird. Uh, maybe it's because the belly's kind of big. That is there. Obviously, the head's its own thing, so. To that, accommodate for the head being its own little shape. I'm gonna fold this head around, fold it over, maybe rotate it a little. That works. Can't really stick to the references. Other references have the uh, the thing like arcing, and all of my drawing doesn't have an arcing. And obviously, this leg feels kind of small in comparison to everything. Seems a lot more like it. Maybe kind of like that. Instead of going down, it kind of does the arc also with it. It's too big, but this thing has a big ass butt. It's for it's for the moments where I say ass and stuff like that that I can't really have. Uh, okay, I do that. Sort of shape, and right here I have that shape. I don't even know what time it is. I did not learn my lesson, people. <laughs> Good, because I still do the timer on my phone. I just want this picture to look decent. It's funny, it's only when I'm practicing that it comes out decent, but then like, when I'm no longer practicing, I have like this time limit and everything. All my lines want to go every single direction, except the direction I want them to go in. It's weird. Let's pretend that this goes there. And this is not. This one chart head, yeah, select and then bring it lower. Come on, rotate it. So, rotate it. I think it's the nose. The nose makes it look weird. This one chart mouth area has to get scaled this way. 
this is huge. That looks a lot better. Let's pretend that the other shoulder's right there. So this is the head. Shoulder. That kind of does that. That does that. That looks a lot better. Ready. I'm gonna stick with this drawing because I don't think I have a lot of time left anyways. Oh yeah, only got five minutes. So I'm gonna stick with this drawing right here. Oh, tiny refinements here and there. It's the weirdest shape. It's kind of like a sausage. Maybe I should just start it with like a sausage shape. But with the back end being kind of bigger. Maybe that's it. Front end, it just doesn't look too big. Uh, there. And that right there. And get the back end. Okay, this bring the opacity down on that. Uh, bring this down because I want this to be the color, uh, really big uh, shape color. I want it to. Let's do the selection tool because then that might be actually faster. And having to color everything doesn't matter if we go offline or anything like that I just need the color and that's fine and then I'm gonna press shift because I want the tail also boom attach to it and then I just you know, select this I'm gonna do a very I'll take that color uh, yeah, probably a little bit darker. Yeah, that, that works. Uh, unselect it. And then I'm going to do this. Probably that sort of dark. And then just like pass the airbrush here and there. That's not doing much, is it? Yeah, that's not doing much. Maybe, uh, yeah, that looks a lot better. That's an airbrush there, also, and here, and down here, and then I have to take the same airbrush, and pick this bright color, and pass it uh, over here. And that has like a brownish tail, so all this is kind of like that. Maybe a darker brown tail. And then I'll take that bright color and then I'll pass it all through the body. Kind of like that. That. This actually looks a lot better than the first that I did. Like usual. Okay. I'll do some sort of subtle lighting there. All this with light, obviously. So I'm going to do a very image color here. I want this to stand out for being kind of pinkish. Uh, I have some pinkish color on it. Uh, the pinkish color will be more like that. Uh, but no, it's more like a red. Yeah, red pink. Yeah, that seems a little bit more accurate. Maybe darken it up some of the areas down here and stuff and then here and there and I'm gonna take this dark color pass it here that's a little bit through there also and there and I'm gonna take this very bright white and then put a little bit of a highlight on his eye 
I should have done another eye right there. So I'm gonna do the, the real quick eye. Uh, Uh, I wonder how much time do I have? Uh, ooh, one minute. Holy crap. Uh, spike time, I guess. <laughs> uh, really quickly. And I take the airbrush before I do the spikes and then just, uh, uh, here. Pass it on the legs really quickly. Just the legs. I like this very dark area. Uh, maybe I'll just take this also. Pass it there and there and there, and there, and then that's that. I pass this very softly through here, 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 and here. Yeah. That's that'll be the bottom part. That's also the bottom part. Okay. That looks fine. Let's do some quills really quickly. Uh, pen. I have to do it like very bright. Uh, I need whiskers. Uh, uh what is it? Yeah. Do I have the rest here? No. What does it look like that? It looks kind of like I'm erasing. That's so weird. Ah, oh, it needs to be above it. Okay, so this is like weird attempt at the uh, porcupine. Obviously, not enough details. So like usual, two more minutes of details. Let's go to the stopwatch. You know what? Let's do the timer because uh, the stopwatch didn't tell me to stop last time. So let's just you just stop whenever you feel like it. This time, I'm only gonna do spikes. Uh, and to uh, like spend one detail one color uh, one minute one color one minute the other that's <laughs> as fast as possible uh, as fast as I can uh, so be prepared for all the taps mark get set start uh, whiskers Because they do got whiskers. Mm, I darken those whiskers up. There. I guess the illusion of whiskers. Uh, I want it to be there. I want this to be a uh, brownish color. Probably similar to this. And then I just got to shut, 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 shut. I, I'm not even uh, like tapping this time around. I'm just gonna do like that. Very rough. Very sketchy lines. Because I noticed that all, uh, all the whiskers tend to face one direction, but they all go in like this little pattern. So it's like little rolls, essentially. So. I gotta do a bunch of rolls. Let's see. Wow. I am need to uh, speed this up. Come on. Porcupine, come on. Twenty seconds left. Come on. And go faster. <laughs> Put enough details <laughs> to get the point across. And a little bit less there. So you can see, you don't necessarily need to uh, like make a bowl of lines. Just like uh, just have your brush going back and forth, back and forth, and hopefully, uh, oh, that is it. I was actually gonna go for a very bright color. <laughs> oh my god, still doesn't look exactly like a porcupine, but enough like a porcupine that you can tell it's a porcupine. Hopefully, I think without all the bright colors, like what I was gonna do with this, yeah, I do like this really rough pass. Uh, it's, it just needs more detail. 
Uh, that, that, that doesn't seem to be the right color. It needs to be more like a cream, you think? Very quick cream pass, and obviously I'm gonna just really quickly do it on the top parts, and uh, I'm not even gonna stop. I'm just gonna go to the next lane, and then next lane. Maybe I should have done that just next lane sort of thing. Now you can tell uh, like what's my technique for doing this, obviously. But do you really care so much to, uh, to replicate it? Not really. And obviously the tail had some, so I do a little bit on the tail. And. Sure, that's uh, the ones that are definitely visible. The ones in the edges. So, yeah. sure, like that. So, um, I never determined where the light was going to be coming from, but I, I, I assumed that it was coming from this side, anyways. Okay, like usual, it's a 20 or so minute long video. Uh, wasn't really expecting it to be so, but I guess it ended up being so. Like usual. Okay, and then usually I'm supposed to do all this stuff during the final detail, but I just can't seem to get myself to not uh, stop painting on this thing. That, oh no, I did it in the wrong layer. Supposed to be now there, and then that, and do that, and then bring that down, and then I'll have it this above, and voila. Thank you guys for watching. This will be pretty much the end of the video. Uh, like usually, I actually spent more than my four, uh, fair 15 minutes on it because the timer stopped and then I spent the two minutes of uh, extra detail. But because I didn't get all the, uh, the right colors on the spikes and I wanted to get all the right colors on the spikes, I spent an extra uh, couple minutes. Not sure how long. You guys will know more than I would since you guys are the ones watching me. Thank you guys. If you guys sticked around, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, and liking if you liked seeing this porcupine uh, get done very simple uh, simple <laughs> uh, drawing uh, obviously uh, I will be you know putting some shade on it really quickly uh, <laughs> it, it looks kind of bland just being out in, in the middle of nothing so let's do that really quickly uh, maybe I'll do like a brown and then all this will be behind it, uh, underneath everything. So right there. Uh, press shift. Boom. And then I'm just going to select this. Boom, boom. And then that. And do a color gradient like that. Flip it. Darker spots. Distance. No, no. Lightest parts there, darkest parts. And I'm just gonna have this be a like, like a random color. Uh, no. Yeah, that works. Maybe backwards though. 
Anyways, you see, it's just final tweaking because, you know, I'm not supposed to be tweaking this at this point, but I kind of feel like tweaking it. So you guys can't really tell me no. <laughs> I'm going to stop it right here. Thank you guys for watching. Again, uh, and peace out. Got my girlfriend next to me, too. Bye. Bye.